there's a lot of things we did wrong. There's a lot of things we did right. But, uh, you know, the biggest yeah. thing and probably the most important thing is the correctable mistakes. And we can take those and learn from them. And uh, it's important that we do that right now and, you know, try and stay focused on Michigan State. Not the well on the mistakes we've made last Saturday. I think we did uh, corrections on Sunday and we did a good job. You know, point out what we did wrong, the little things that we can't control. And we, uh, I think we did a good job correcting them and now it's time to move forward to Michigan State. What stands out about our defense and obviously Greg Jones? Yeah. More than top players in the conference. But yeah, well, Greg Jones gets a lot of, uh, you know, attention because he is. He is that good. He's a talented player. Uh, he has a lot of moves. Uh, you know, he's a physical player, but at the same time, he has a lot of speed. Uh, but, you know, uh, I think their defense line might get a little underlooked because of Greg Jones, but those guys are just as talented. Um, at D tackle, they've had some injuries, so you've seen a couple players on tape, and it just seems like the production doesn't drop off no matter who's in the game. So I think that speaks volumes, volumes about what kind of defense line they have. Um, they're tough, they're physical, and uh, it should make for a great game Saturday. Is it interesting to kind of see them in a similar position to what you guys were a year ago? Yeah. They're, you know, undefeated in the top five. They're coming in here, and basically this game is key to them. Yeah, possibly pointing the Big Ten. Yeah, well, you know, every game's pretty important to win the Big Ten, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, I haven't really thought of it like that, sorry. I haven't really thought of it like that, but yeah, they're having a lot of the same uh, things we had last year, but, uh, you know, right now we're focused on us and just trying to make sure that, you know, we stay, uh, you know, focused on the next step and get one more this Saturday. When you go back, I know obviously there's a lot of when it's kind of going through your mind when you see like all the criticism coming like your father, but especially you know this one, when you hear oh like, this is a dumb mistake, why didn't they you know despite the ball? He even, he even said you know yesterday it was something that in hindsight that he wish he could have gone back. Well, you know uh, what's done is done. You know as a player, uh, you know we believe in the coaches. We think they're doing what's best for us and. Uh, you know, looking back at it, we maybe could have done a few things wrong, uh, differently, but uh, you can say that going all the way back to the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. Um, it's hard to single out one play. That one obviously stands out because we were trying to make a, you know, a last run at the end zone there. But, uh, you know, we stand behind the coaches. We believe in them. And, uh, you know, we always think they're doing what's best for us. Is that something that you kind of notice with him, though? It's just like he's always, like, I mean, it's not like he's always the one that's accountable and when he talks to you guys. I know Rick was saying yesterday, when he talks to you guys, he's the one that's saying, hey, you put this on me. Yeah, and I think that's what makes him such a great coach and a uh, respected leader on this team. You know, you go up and down the lineup, everybody respects him, and, uh, yeah, you know, I think that's just something that's uh, about him as a person. He, he'll always take ownership of his mistakes or, you know, even if they aren't his mistakes, it's his team, and he always takes ownership. And, uh, you know, that's something that I think is uh, really respect, uh, something you can really respect of him and uh, speaks a lot about him as a person. What do you assess the way the offensive lines come together, especially here the last couple of weeks? Um, like I you know, said earlier, we've been improving each week. I think uh, we've come a long ways, but we also still have a really long ways to go, too. Uh, I think we've already given up about 11 sacks, and that you know that's not very uh, – that's not very good. <laughs> I think we're near the bottom of the big ten in that stat. So, you know, we have a really long ways to go. But, you know, for uh, I think it's now seven games under the belt. I mean, we've made improvements, and that's good to see. But, you know, we still have a lot of work to do. It's had to have been helpful that four of you guys have been out there, I think pretty much every significant snap. Yeah. This yeah. Year. Um, you know, and playing together, we've gotten, we've gotten more comfortable with each other, you know, uh, and you start to, you know, get a better feel of how people are playing. And, you know, you can try and simulate that in practice and you know, say, hey, this is how we kind of play. But in the game, it's definitely a little bit different. But uh, playing together this long has really made a big difference. And, uh, you know, I think every week we continue to play together, we'll uh, continue to improve.